First, I will introduce the starters for the visiting team. Number zero. Okay, minutes. we're good. Okay. Oh, am I up? Number one, eight. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, back here at Fort Morgan High School, we are getting the introduction of the players. It will be Aiden Garber starting along with Jackson Wiedrich, Charlie Langford. Let's see who else we have here. We have Tony Mendez. Yeah, that number two, that might be Rodrigo Alvarez. Starting for the Fort Morgan Mustangs, and that Mustang starting lineup is brought to you by B&B Appliance. B&B Appliance and repair from refrigerators to vacuums and everything in between. You have exactly what you need and service it too. Apparently here at Frederick, they introduce the whole lineup, not just the starting lineup. Tony Mendez, a junior, senior Aiden Garber, senior Jackson Wiedrich, senior Charlie Langford. Who am I missing here? And junior Tony Mendez. will be the starters here tonight for the Fort Morgan Mustangs. We'll get you the starting lineup here in a minute for the Golden Eagles. And we get quite a production going on here. We have some kids here in front of me with spotlights that they're flashing all around here as they get their introductions here. Marcus Garcia, a junior. And Caden Martin will be a starter, a junior for Frederick. As long as Ian Buffington, a senior. And then also Joe Bryan Aldana, a junior for the Golden Eagles. As I said earlier, Aldana averages 11 points a game, project 15 points a game. And the Eagles do average at 58.6 points a game, the Mustangs 36.75. We'll see what happens here as we get the tip off and the opening tip is brought to you by Buildings by Design. When it comes to experience, Buildings by Design is the best in the business. Quality, commitment, and experience makes Buildings by Design the only choice when it comes to your next project. So, jumping center for the Golden Eagles tonight will be Joe Van Aldana. He must be about 6'4", uh, 6'5", six, six, maybe. Tony Mendez. And the Mustangs with possession. There's Rodrigo Alvarez off now to Mendez on the right wing. Mendez is going to drive it down. Going to give it off to Langford out at the three-point line. Back to Rodrigo on the near side. Rodrigo underneath, and the ball is going to be off of Mendez and out of bounds. So turnover number one for the Mustangs. As the Golden Eagles with their first possession with Marcus Garcia. He's going to give it off to Stroynik for three, and that is a straight away and going to be rebounded by Tony Mendez. Tony Mendez brings it down now to Wiedrich. His shot up and good off the backboard for Jackson Wiedrich. Mustangs with the early 2-0 lead. 
Now another three, and that is going to be off the rim and no good. Going to be rebounded by Garver. Garver is, I don't know if he was shooting or if he was going to try to pass. There is a foul, though, on Frederick. And that will be underneath. And that will be on Buffington. That will be his first. So Morgan to inbound right baseline of their basket. They get it in and off of Fort Morgan and out of bounds off of, off of Weedrick. Fort Morgan with the early 2 to nothing lead on the Jackson Weedrick shot. Over in the corner now, another three is taken, and that one is up and good for Stroji. So far, all they've shot is threes, and they are one for three. Ball is going to be tipped and taken away by Frederick. Another three for Stroji. Up and good from the left corner once again. So quickly, six to two here, Frederick. They bury the threes. Underneath and off of the hands of Mendez. And Rodrigo Alvarez with the pass underneath but could not be handled by Mendez. Strogic's gonna stop at the free throw line, gonna shot up and no good. Ball's gonna be tipped around and gonna be rebounded by Rodrigo. Over, over on the far side. He's going to try to drive it in. Picks up his dribble now off to Langford out at the high straightaway. He's going to drive it down to Aiden Garver. Garver over in the left corner. His turnaround jumper is up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Garcia. Garcia now to Strojic in the corner. He's going to step in. He's going to give it up top and that three is going to be up and good by Marcus Garcia. They don't even try the two-pointers. They just line up at the three-point line. I've got a student section in front of me, so it's tough to see what's going on right there. That should be a foul. That was a foul on Frederick. And I believe that will be on Caden Martin. That will be his first. Mustangs to inbounds, left baseline of their basket with Rodrigo Alvarez to inbounds to Weedrick. Ball's tipped, but Charlie Langford into the lane. Little right-handed hook is up and good by Langford. Nine to four. Frederick. That should have been an offensive foul, and it was. That's going to go on Joe Van Aldana. And he goes in and knocks down Weedrick. And Joe Van Aldana with his first team third. So far, Fort Morgan with no team fouls. Going to be full court pressure here by Frederick. They get it into the hands of Weedrick as he gets up into the front court. Weedrick into the lane. That should have been a travel. Well, they're going to call a foul underneath. Let's see who they're going to. That's going to go on Aldana. Strojic with his first team fourth already here within not quite the first four minutes. But Rodrigo inbounds right baseline of, their, of the Mustangs basket. They get it in to Charlie and it's going to be off of Langford and out of bounds. The five turnovers already for the Mustangs. As the Golden Eagles will Inbounds here, three quarters court. As it will be Garcia to bring it up into the front court, being guarded by Rodrigo. Now on the near side, there's Stroger. Stroger's being guarded by Garver. Stroger goes another three straight away. Up and good. Wow. Nine points so far for Stroger. Ball's tipped out of bounds by mid court off of. Frederick. Jariah Blake will come in 
for Tony Mendez. 12 to 4. Frederick as they get the ball into Rodrigo in the back court. Up into the front court's gonna be off the off of the foot of Frederick. So Jariah Blake to inbounds, three-quarter court for the Mustangs. They get it into Rodrigo. Now up to Langford into the front court over on the high left wing. He's going to drive it all the way down. He passes it off, and then it goes out of bounds. And Charlie was right there and ends up catching it as it goes out of bounds. So turnover of Mustangs. And they're down 8, 12 to 4, just under four minutes to go here in this first period. Once again, Garcia brings it up being guarded by Rodrigo. Over into the corner, that three is up, and that is up and good for Caden Martin. So far, five threes on the night. There's a foul, and that's going to be on Caden Martin. That will be his second. 15 to four. So far, Frederick is all threes. That will be the fifth team foul, so they will shoot. Rodrigo will shoot two. And this is the new rules this year for free throws. No one and one anymore. It used to be when you get the seven team fouls, it was a one and one. Free throw is up and good. And then when it got to 10, you got a two shot. But this year, when you get five fouls and team fouls and the other team shoots that ended up in no good going to be rebounded by Strogic. Strogic going to drive it all the way down now a blocking foul that's going to be on Langford I believe that will be on Charlie that will be his first team first so Strogic to inbounds left baseline of their basket Zach Burton into the game for Frederick. As he gets it now over to Strogic. Nice job there by Aiden Garver. They're going to call a. They're going to call a foul. And that will be on Garver. That will be his first team second. So Frederick the inbound right baseline of there. They're looking for a contact. Jariah. If somebody is looking for a contact, like Jariah Blake, he did find it, amazing enough. Yes, he will come out if they get that taken care of. It will be Gavin Taylor to come in for the Mustangs. 15 to five. Here with 321 left in the first period. And they try to get it in. It's going to be a lob in to Aldana. And that is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Weedrick because he's being fouled all over the place. And nothing called. But Weedrick with a rebound. And now to JJ Marquez, who has come into the game. His shot was blocked from behind by Aldana. Garver's shot is up and good on the layup, right down the middle by Garver, his first two points of the night. Steal by the Mustangs. Garver drives it into the lane, now he's gonna kick it off to Langford out at the high left, he's gonna drive it in, backs up, gets it off now to Taylor. Garver in the corner, he's gonna drive it in, his shot is gonna be up and no good, going to be rebounded and tipped around and taken by Garcia. Javan Aldana down at the other end, up and no good. And that should be off. Oh, they're saying that's off of Langford. So 15 to 7 here. And as the Golden Eagles make a few substitutions. Dante Lechuga into the game, as well as Ollie Justice. And Jonathan Madera in now to Lechuga out at the high three point. If he launches that's almost off the back of the rim. 
could not be caught by the Mustang, but did finally come down to JJ. He came, comes away with it. And then a foul on the Golden Eagles, and that will be on Zach Burton, his first. And JJ Marquez to go to the line to shoot two. 15 to seven, 202 left here in the first period. JJ first free throw up and off the back of the rim and no good. As he will shoot free throw number two. That one is off the back of the rim and no good also. Tapped around and taken by Strongy. As he brings it all the way down, he's gonna drive it all the way down. Hit layup is gonna be up and good. First two point basket of the game that goes to now it's going to be a foul out front, and that will be on Zach Burton, his second. So Aiden Garver will go to the line now to shoot two. See if he has a little better luck at the free throw line than. JJ did first, but is up and good for Garver. Three points on the night for Aiden. Next free throw off the front of the rim and no good. Going to be rebounded by Strojic. Baseball pass down court. Lined up for a three, but didn't take that like a walk, but nothing called. On the near side now, that little shot is going to be up and no good. They're going to call a foul underneath on Frederick. So clearing out, and that will be on Madera. That will be his first, so we'll see who they're going to Offensive foul is not a team foul, so apparently they will not shoot. So Marquez loses it out of bounds. Little pressure. And JJ loses it out of bounds. That would be the seventh turnover on the Mustangs. That's Marcus Garcia. Mustangs with the turnover. As the Mustangs now into the front court, Aiden Garver picks up his dribble to JJ. Now to Garver or to Taylor in the corner. His shot is up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Garcia. Now a two pointer. Now is going to be up and good by Logan Gibbs. 19 to 6. Six, 19 to 8, excuse me. And Aiden Garver out of, headed out of bounds, but he threw it off of the Golden Eagle, so the Mustang will retain possession on the far side. 40.9 seconds to go here. In the first period, as Charlie drives it all the way down, tries to give it off to Diedrich, now to JJ. Early for the three from the right corner. Up and good. Charlie Langford with a three. Another three taken, and that is going to be up and good. And that is going to be Ollie Justice for three. Ten seconds to go here, first period. 22 to 11 in favor of the Golden Eagles. Four seconds to see if they can get a shot off. Garver with a jumper from the right side up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Marcus Garcia. His fourth of the night. So as the first period comes to an end, Mustangs find themselves on the short end of the 22 to 11 score here. As we will take a one minute break on Morgan County's B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Pretty, pretty getting into it, isn't he? Frederick basketball to start off the second period into the hands of Marcus, or yeah, Marcus Garcia. As he hands it off to Holly Justice. 
Oh, Justice drives the left baseline. Shot is going to be blocked. It's like a good block by JJ, but it's going to be, I believe that's who it's going to be on is JJ Marquez. And that will be his first. That will send Justice to the line to shoot two. Three points on the night for Justice. 22 to 11, still 22 to 11 as he misses the front end. It's not a front end anymore, it's about two shot. He does miss that one. Jackson Weedrick will take a seat. And Rodrigo Alvarez into the game. Gavin Taylor into the game also. JJ, Tony Mendez, and Aiden Garver. That one is off the side of the rim and no good. Going to be rebounded by JJ. Ball is he was being hounded there, but didn't let it get. Now they're going to call Gavin Taylor with a travel. So turnover Mustangs. Eight on the night for them. Two so far for the Frederick. I almost called them the Warriors. Um, Golden Eagles now on the near side to Lechuga. As he hands it back off to Garcia. Now a foul on JJ. That will be his second. Team second. Frederick the inbounds front court. As they get it in to Marcus Garcia. Garcia now to Justice. Move on the far side. I thought they were going to line up for a three, but did not do it. As that is Lechuga. Lechuga kicks it back out. Now a three is going to go up. And that is going to be up and good by Ollie Justice. That's his second three of the night. 25 to 11. Aiden Garver on the far side hands it off, and he's going to be going to see us off of Tony Mendez. Had a lot of help with that, with a lot of body going on tonight. He wasn't called in the girls' game, and it's not being called here. Twenty-five to eleven. Just under seven minutes to go here, second period. Underneath Valdana, back out now to Garcia, and that is going to be short. Scrooge gets his, he gets the rebound in the corner. Underneath now, and that is going to be up and good by Nate Rickman. Mustang into the front court. Rodrigo Alvarez. Has the ball taken away from him. Shot is going to be up and no good. They're going to call a foul on the layup on the Mustangs. And that is going to be Tony Mendez. That will be his first team third. But that will send Nick, excuse me, Nate Rickman to the line to shoot two. He receives the ball from the referee. And that shot is up and good by Rickman. Three points on the night for Rickman. And that three points is not from behind the three-point line. It was actually a two. One basket and a free throw so far. And that one is off the rim and no good. And it's going to be saved into the Mustangs. Rodrigo into the backcourt. A lot of body and going up. Nothing called. A lot of reaching. Now they say it's going to be off of Fort Morgan and out of bounds. Subbing in the game for five games. So Charlie Langford to come in and Rodrigo will take a seat. As Frederick will inbounds midcourt. Six minutes to go here, second period. Mustangs down 28 to 11. Strojic from the left baseline, up and good. Trey Langford picked up his dribble, now to Garber, and now to Mendez, and he lets it go through his hand. Unforced error there, went right through his hand. Nice, oh, looked like a good block by Charlie Langford, but they're going to call a foul on Langford. That will be Charlie's. It will be his second. That's his second personal 14 foul. Second game to the 
Let's see who that is going to go to the line. That is going to be Logan Gibbs to shoot to 30 to 11. Golden Eagles, that is off the front rim and no good. As he awaits the ball from the referee. A couple of dribbles. Benz shoots off the rim and no good. Going to be rebounded by Garcia, his fifth of the night. Strogic for another three, up and no good. Going to be rebounded and finally taken away by Garber, his second of the night. Now a foul is called on the Golden Eagles. And that will be on Logan Gibbs. That will be his first. End of the game will be Ian Buffington. Nate Rickman to take a seat. Jackson Wiedrich to come into the game for Aiden Garver. The Mustangs will inbounds far side. Just left of the Golden Eagle bench. They get it into Langford. Langford's going to drive it all the way down. There's going to be, a, oh, they're going to call him for a carry. You don't see that called very often. So 13 turnovers by the Mustangs and two for Frederick. So into the game now will be Caden Martin. Zach Burton to take a seat. Or excuse me, that'll be Logan Gibbs. That three is up and nothing but the bottom of the net for J.J. Stroynick. That is his fourth three of the night. 33 to 11. Mendez underneath to Gavin Taylor. Little reverse layup up and good for Taylor. His first bucket of the night. Little jumper from the right wing is going to be up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Martin. He's in the left wing. That ball is partially blocked by Taylor. Mustangs come away with it. Weedrich to Gavin Taylor for a three and that's off the back of the rim and no good. Going to be rebounded by Mendez. But taken away by the Golden Eagles. Now Aldana in the corner. He's going to drive it all the way in. And using that shoulder pretty. He's a big boy. Kind of gets his way under there but that's up and good for Jovan Aldana. Thirty second time that will be taken by the head coach of the Fort Morgan Mustangs, David Marquez. Rudy's tires, nine locations across northeast Colorado and Nebraska mean there's always a location close by. Rudy's tires brings you 1010 preps and more every weekday. Visit Rudy's Tires.com for more. This Frederick team lives behind the line, that is for sure. They have eight buckets from behind the three-point line so far. Just yeah, they like to bury it. They just as soon take a three as they would a two. Mustangs inbounds, they get it in, that ball is going to be tipped away, not a good pass. And then right back to the Mustangs. Rodrigo Alvarez back into the game. His little up and under, hits the underneath part of the rim, no good. Now they're going to, on the fast break, layup is going to be up and no good. Going to be rebounded. Stroji comes away with it. That's his step. That three is up and good. He averages 15 points a game. He is already past that. Another turnover by the Mustangs. Nice job there by Taylor on the block. Mustangs are out of bounds. So that will on the rebound. So it will be to Aldana. Now on the near side to Martin. Strojic for another three and he hits the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Rodrigo Alvarez. 
just under three and a half to go here in the second period, 38 to 13. Mustangs, Rodrigo, that ball is gonna be intercepted on a pass underneath of Taylor. And now Charlie Langford is gonna be called. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he took a... So he did get the interception and then did travel with it. So turnover by the Mustangs, back-to-back -back turnover, won by Frederick and then by Fort Morgan. So 38 to 13. 308 to go here, second period. They get it into Javon Aldana. Trojic for a three, and that is off the top of the backboard. No good. Going to be rebounded by the Golden Eagles. Georgia's gonna drive it all the way down now to Aldana. Little spin move up and good by Jovan Aldana. And Langford off to Gavin Taylor. Taylor bounce pass, not a good pass. Jovan Aldana, his shot is gonna be up and good and he was fouled. That will go on Gavin Taylor, his first. 42-13, excuse me, as we play here in the second period. So Aldana to shoot one. And that is off the back rim and no good. Going to be rebounded by Taylor. As they get it up into the front court, Charlie Langford, his pocket is stripped from behind, but out of bounds off of Frederick, Mustang will retain possession. Warrior Alvarez into the game for Gavin Taylor. As the Mustangs will inbounds far side in front of the Frederick bench. Get it into Alvarez. And give it off now to Mendez out at the point. Mendez drives it all the way down. Royer has it taken out of his hands. But off of Frederick and out of bounds. So the Mustangs will retain possession with 2.21 to go here in the first half. Mustangs down 42 to 13. Langford's little layup is up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Weedrich. Weedrich is going to go up and they're going to call him for the travel. He tried to clear a little space there after the rebound and so called for the so Chuga back into the game for Frederick. Two minutes to go here, first half, as they give the ball off now. Two actually, yeah, it's going to be a travel, and that is going to be on Dante Nachuga. That will be their fifth turnover. Subbing into the game is number one, Ollie Justice. Ollie Justice into the game for Frederick. And taking a seat will be Caden Martin. Mustangs get it into Charlie Langford. A lot of hand checking, that's not called. Another knock away by Frederick as they anticipate those passes. Shot is going to be up and good. And that is going to be Ollie Justice with eight points on the night. 44-13. Weedrick with the ball. In the front court, his layup is going to be up and no good, but they're going to call a foul on the shot. Let's we'll see who that's going to be on, and Weedrick will go to the line. And that would be Dante with the shooter. That would be his first, sending Jackson Weedrick to the line to shoot two. Must have been so far. Or two of six. Now two of seven as we misses the first one. Minute 38 to go here, first half, 44-13. Free throws off the rim and no good. Going to be rebounded by Madera. Oh, they're going to call it travel on Justice, so that will be turnover number six. For Frederick as the Mustangs win bounds far right corner and they do get it into Charlie now Weedrick is going to be 
taken away. Nope, it's going to be saved by Weedrich. His little turnaround is going to be up and no good. And finally going to be rebounded by Jonathan Madeira, his second unofficially. And now Lechuga all the way down. Justice for a three, and that is up and no good. Then we tipped around and taken by Weedrich. His third unofficially. Rodrigo Alvarez into the front court. Under a minute to go here, 44-13, Frederick. Friedrich on the far right wing is going to lose the dribble, but does get it back. And his ball is going to be tipped, but kept by the Mustangs. Warrior Alvarez in the corner. Now to Weedrich, his little layup in and out. Can't buy a basket. Now into the hands of Lechuga as he gets it up into the front court. Lechuga is going to be called for the carry. I'm glad you're calling that this year. You see that a lot, and they haven't really been calling it. But I've called it a couple of times tonight. 27.3 seconds to go, 44 13. Charlie Langford to trigger it in for the Mustangs. As they will try to get it into, will be to Rodrigo. His bounce pass up now to Mendez. Mendez's layup is going to be up and no good. Weedrich with a rebound. His turnaround up and no good. Into the hands of Lechuga. His shot is going to be up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Royer with six seconds. Charlie Langford with it. See if he gets a shot off here. He does get it off. It'll be good. Oh, just off the side of the rim and no good. So at the end of the first half, the Mustangs on the short end of the score, 44 to 13, here on Morgan County's B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Brian Nickel back here at uh, Frederick High School. Halftime continues here. Both teams are slowly working their way back out onto the court and warming up a little bit. As far as fouls are concerned, I didn't go over those. Uh, nobody really in foul trouble for the Mustangs. Charlie Langford and uh, J.J. Marquez each with two. Gavin Taylor with one. Aiden Garver, Tony Mendez each with one. Uh, as far as Frederick, uh, they're really not in foul trouble either. Caden Martin, Zach Burton each with two. Logan Gibbs, Dante Lechuga, Ian Buffington, Jonathan Madeira, Jovan Aldana and J.J. Stranger, each with one. So far, the three-point line has been very kind to the Golden Eagles tonight. They came out of popping from back behind there, and I think their first six or seven shots were from behind the three-point line. They, they just didn't shoot a three as a two any time of the day so we'll see what happens when they come out here if they continue that hot shooting i believe they on the season they're shooting 29 to 30 percent i think they're a little bit above that tonight so, yeah. mustang they do have one three-pointer tonight and that was from charlie langford that was part of his five points But the Golden Eagles were pretty consistent, scored 22 points in each of the first two periods. So the Mustangs will take possession here. And Rodrigo Alvarez to inbounds. For the Mustangs into the hands of Aiden Garber. Now to Weedrick out on the left high wing. Got to get rid of it. There you go. And the ball is tipped away. It's going to be off of Weedrick and out. Oh, I thought that was off of Weedrick's knee. So they're going to give it to the Mustangs as he was being pressured out there by Aldana. Aldana's a pretty good sized boy. Mustangs need to get it in. They do get it into Langford in the backcourt. He crosses midcourt as they try to get their offense set up here. Off to Weedrick out on the high right wing, being double teamed now. And that, well, and that is going to go on JJ Stroger. That's his second. 
A lot of reaching. They did call that one. So it will be Weedrick to inbounds far side. Get it into Langford. Langford into the front court being guarded by Strojic. Picks up his dribble. Now they got to get rid of it. Now he does give it to Garber out on the high left wing. It's going to be tipped away and finally taken away by the... Oh, it looked like it was a clean takeaway by Garber, but we're going to call a foul, but a turnover by the Mustangs. That will be the first of the second half. That will be the second. Let's see who that was. What's that one? I believe it's Caden Martin. Yes. First free throw is up and no good for Martin. So now one of eight. Bends his knees, shoots up and no good once again. They are terrible from the free throw line. As good a shooting team as they are. Into the hands now, that was a travel. Yep, we re Got the ball out about uh, just above the three-point line and was going to get it off to Rodrigo Alvarez and I think there was a Golden Eagle in the way. So we're sitting at seven minutes, 44 to 13. Neither team has scored yet here in this third period. Strangic going to drive it all the way down. His little left-handed shot up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Mendez, his third unofficially. Now they're going to call another reach foul on the far side. See who this one's going to go on. That's going to go on. Uh, that's going to be on Ian Buffington. That will be his second. Second team foul, second personal foul. As Alvarez drives it down to the lane and kick it off to Charlie. Charlie's shot is going to be up and no good going to be rebounded by Martin. Martin with the layup is going to be up and no good. Rebounded by Alvarez and then he loses it. Turnover. Shot is going to be up. Mendez with the rebound and his putback is no good. Going to be rebounded and taken away by the Golden Eagles. In the lane shot up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Weedrich. His fifth of the night. Into the hands now of Charlie Langford. Six minutes to go, third period. Nobody has scored yet here, 44 to 13. Charlie Langford left, up and no good, too hard. Baseball pass, and that's gonna be too far, and that's gonna be a turnover by the Golden Eagles. So Tony Mendez, the inbounds. He gets it into Langford. Pass to Weedrick. Weedrick gets it back to Langford. Langford's going to drive it down, pulls it back out, keeps it dribble alive. Now to Rodrigo. Rodrigo for a three, and that is up in no good. Going to be rebounded and taken away by Buffington. Underneath, now back to Buffington. That little shot is going to be up and good, and they're going to call a foul. Probably on Mendez. That would be second one on Mendez. And Ian Buffington, that's actually his first bucket of the night, and he'll go to the line to shoot one. See if he's any better at the line. That's off the back of the rim and no good. Rebounded by Weedrick. Langford now being going to get double team. Ball is going to be tipped away, but Mustangs will. Retain possession, Aldana tipped it out of bounds. Mustangs into Charlie Langford to Rodrigo on the far side. He's gonna pull it up, keeps the dribble alive out at the point, backs up to almost a jump circle. Picks up his dribble now to, and not a good pass, it was just a little bit high for Aiden Garvey. So 24 turnovers now for the Mustang, just the third one this quarter. Yes, 
Caden Martin, or excuse me, that's uh, Garcia with it. The three in and out, going to be rebounded by Buffington. This little hook shot is going to be up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Mendez, his fifth of the night. Charlie Langford's going to stop and pop. He is fouled on the shot, and he will shoot three. And I believe that foul was Fouls on, number two. on Marcus Garcia. That is his first. So Charlie Langford will go to the line to shoot three. And as the Golden Eagles are set to get three substitutions in, Langford off the front rim and no good. Stubbs Gas and Oil, one-stop shopping does exist. Gas, food, and all your travel accessories. Get off I-76 at exit 66A in Wiggins to visit them. See if Charlie can get one of these free throws in and out. Premier Farm Credit, for over 100 years, they've been providing affordable, reliable, and consistent credit. Visit PremierECA.com. See if we can get free throw number three here, 46 to 13. Free throw up and in for Charlie, six points on the night for Langford. And Caden Martin brings it down. His layup was up and no good. Then to rebounded by Weedrick. That is his seventh of the night. Rodrigo Alvarez weaves in that ball now to Garber in the corner. Three is up and good by Aiden Garber. His first triple of the night. And Frederick into the lane. Little layup runner is going to be up and good by Marcus Garcia. 48-17. Into the hands of Garver. Now back to Charlie on the far side. Being guarded by Burton. Into the hands of Garver. He's going to drive it into the lane. He's going to stop, turn, going to give it off to Weedrick out in the corner. And it's off of Weedrick and out of bounds. 25 turnovers by the Mustangs. Fifth here, fourth here in the second half. 48-17. With Marcus Garcia into the front court. Gonna drive it down that left side. Layup is gonna be up and good with the little Dude, underhand. Garcia. Little uh, underhand layup, four points this quarter. Seven on the night for Garcia. Charlie Langford is gonna be fouled. Oh, they're going to call him out of bounds. They didn't call a foul. It's going to be a turnover on the Mustangs. As he drove that baseline, it was... Looked like he had a little help going out of bounds, but... Not called that way tonight. And it is Garcia. With possession. He's going to drive it on Rodrigo. Now Bass... Bounce pass cross court. And that ball is going to be. Wow, they called a foul on that. See who that goes on. It's going to go on the Mustangs. And that will be on Rodrigo Alvarez. It will be his first. JJ Marquez into the game for Charlie Langford. 2.58 to go here, third period. 50 to 17. Golden Eagles. Tony Mendez takes a seat. We'll see who came back in. And that is Jariah Blake that has cut into the game. Marcus Garcia out on the high right wing. Now he hands it off to Burton. Burton drives it in. He's going to kick it out now to Ollie Justice in the corner. Justice is going to drive it up. He's going to go all the way down for the layup. It's going to be up and blocked by Weedrick. But that putback is going to be good by Jonathan Madeira. His first bucket of the night, 52-17. Bounce pass to Garber into the front court. Garber is going to stop and pop for a three. No good. Rebounded by JJ. And he misses the shot. Into the hands now of... The Golden Eagles, that three from the corner is up and no good. Going to be rebounded 
We're going to stay off of Barber and out of bounds. Frederick basketball. So Frederick will retain possession. Jariah Blake, <coughs> excuse me, I know earlier on in the first half he had lost a contact, I believe, but now he has a, it's like a uh, patch over his eye now. And that three is going to be up three. and good by yes. Marcus Garcia. His second of the night. Bounce pass to Garber. Garber's going to drive it in. His layup is going to be no good, but he is fouled on the foul shot. The floor, and that foul will be on That'll Zach be Burton. That will be his third. That will send Aiden Garber to the line to shoot two. 55-17. That one is up and good for Garber. Been on the wrong line. Let's get it right here. 55 18, a minute 46 to go, third period. Garber with free throw number two in and out. Going to be rebounded and taken away by Garcia. His sixth of the night. Cross court, net three is going to be up and short, and it's going to be rebounded and finally taken away. Can't see who that was. That was it's going to be Rickman. Now Richmond gets it back. Now Garber with the rebound. His third of the night on the first one. Behind the back pass by Aiden Garber goes awry and out of bounds. Turnover number 27 is Gavin Taylor just coming in for Aiden Garber. Minute 20 to go here, third period, 55. 18. Frederick into the front court with Logan Gibbs is now back into the game. Ball is tipped around. Gibbs gets it back. Now he gets it off to Machuga out at the point. Machuga all the way down. His layup is going to be up and good for Dante Machuga. His first bucket of the night. Under a minute to go here now. Third period. Mustang good possession. Rodrigo keeps the ball. Let Goodle alive. Five now they're calling five Let seconds. Did not get rid of the ball. He is being guarded. That close. Did not get separation. For 47.5 seconds. Left in the third period. Possession. Frederick. He's going to kick it off. Corner three, and that's going to be up and short. I believe that's off of Taylor and out of bounds, but it is. So, Frederick will retain possession. As that will be Zach Burton now, I believe, to inbounds. Right baseline, they get it in to Madeira. Now to Rickman. Three from the corner is up and no good. Then be rebounded by Madeira. His shot is going to be up and no good. Then be rebounded by Taylor. Unofficially his second, 16, 15 seconds. Jariah Blake in the corner. Now Taylor drives it around, picks up his dribble now to Jariah Blake for a three, and that is up and good for Blake. His first bucket of the night. And if he goes, that was close. But it did not go for the Frederick Golden Eagles. At the end of three, it is a 57 to 21 lead for the Golden Eagles over your Fort Morgan Mustangs as we go to period number four here on Morgan County's B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Brad Nickel back here at Frederick High School as the Golden Eagles take possession here to start off the fourth period. There's going to be a lob pass, and that is going to be up and no good, going to be rebounded by Rodrigo Alvarez. Rodrigo. And drive it all the way down. His shot is going to be up and no good, and they're going to get a foul on the big man underneath on um, Joe Van Aldana. Fouls on number 32, Joe Van Aldana. That is his second. So Rodrigo, Rodrigo will go to the line to shoot two. Rodrigo, free throw is up and good. His second point of the night.
Shot here, bounces around and no good. Going to be rebounded by Ian Buffington. Lechuga drives it down. His shot is going to be up and no good, but they're going to call a foul on the Mustangs on the dry, on the uh, shot, I believe. Let's see who they're going to go on, see if it's going to go on. It's going to be on J.J. Marquez. That is going to be his third. So Dante Lechuga will go to the line to shoot. First one is up and good. Lechuga with three points on the night. Not sure what they're having a discussion with over here at the free throw line, but everything's good. Get the thumbs up from the ref as the Chuga will shoot free throw number two up and good. Mustangs get the ball in. Rodrigo bounce pass to Tony Mendez. See if he can run it down. He does. But gets it back to. Rodrigo, he's going to drive it all the way down. JJ with a jumper from the right baseline, up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Rickman. Have him for two. Shot is going to be up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Rodrigo Alvarez. He's going to take it all the way down. His shot is up and no good. Going to be rebounded and put back up and in by JJ Marquez. his first points that that three is going to be up and good by Stojic once again 22 points on the night for him JJ into the lane going to kick it off eh, I don't know I thought it was out of bounds I thought maybe it was going to be off of Weedridge out of bounds but they saved it said it was out of bounds off of off of Frederick Zach Burton back into the game for Lechuga. Ball in and no good at the bucket. And it's going to be a turnover to the off of Fort Morgan. Strogic once again, he's going to drive it all the way down. It's going to be tipped out of bounds off of his knee and out of bounds. That will be turnover number 10. So we have hit that magic number of 35. Actually, it's a 37 point deficit, so the clock does run now. Get it into the hands of Marquez up into the front court. Now underneath the Taylor, Taylor's shot is up and good. Little jumper from the left side. Shot down at this end is up and good. And that is going to be for Zach Burton. That will be his first. Foul is going to be on Caden Martin. And it's his third, team second. Clock does continue to run as the Mustangs get it into Mendez in the front court and out of JJ in the corner. The ball is going to be tipped. to we'll see if Rodrigo can get to it. Oh, that ball was tipped. That ball was tipped. I think they're going to talk about this. That was tipped by Martin. That's got to be Fort Morgan basketball. There we go. Four minutes left here as the clock continues to count down 64-27. And Rodrigo finally gets it up into the front court. Got to get rid of it. Now he's going to be called for the travel. So 30 turnovers here by the Mustangs. Cole Davis into the game for Frederick. And along with Marcus Prestwich. He was a he played on the JV team. He was a pretty good shooter on the JV team also. And they're gonna call the travel now on Frederick. That is 11 turnovers for them and 20 or 30, excuse me, for 
to the Mustangs as J.J. Marquez will inbounds far side in front of the Frederick bench. Gets it in to Rodrigo Alvarez. Back to J.J. You've got to get it up into the front court and do get it off now to Christian Velasquez who is into the game for the Mustangs. And then a bad pass on the other side as Marquez tried to throw it back in and went way out of bounds. So 31 turnovers here by the Mustangs, 240 and counting here in the fourth period. Tony Mendez will take a seat. And it is Adam Montez into the game for the Mustangs. And it's the Golden Eagles with Alex Clapp also into the game. And they're going to call a travel on Marcus Prestwich. That will be 12 turnovers. And the scoring has kind of come to a halt here. 64 to 27. Two minutes left to go. They get it into Alvarez. He gets it up into the front court. Keeps that dribble alive out at the point. Keeps the dribble, keeps the dribble, drives it into the lane. Now he's going to drive, and the shot is going to be up and good for Rodrigo. Four points on the night for Alvarez. Minute and a half to go here in the contest. Little spin move, and they're going to say no. Or they're going to call a. They're going to call him for a travel. Thirteen turnovers. Sixty-four. 29. I guess that Frederick figured that's going to be enough. They're still going to pick them up at half court, but back off anything other than that. So, a little over a minute to go here in this fourth period. Rodrigo Alvarez all the way, but he is going to be called for the travel. So, the Mustangs will fall to 0 and 5, 0 and 2 in league. They will be playing at home on Thursday night against Mountain View, another league contest. 6 o'clock and 7.30 are those tip-offs. Ball underneath, and ball, ball is going to be in and out, no good. And then a basket is going to be good, and then a foul is going to be called Bucket is good for Zach Burton. And then the foul is going to go on Adam Montez, his first. And now they're going to shut off. The girls gave me a let it run during the free throws. Now they have it shut off. 23.1 seconds, 66-29. And he left too early. So we'll see if the Mustangs can get any more points on the board. They get it into Montez now to Marquez. Christian Velasquez, his little lap is going to be up and no good. Going to be rebounded by Weedrick. His shot is going to be up and good for Jackson Weedrick. For four seconds. And then they're going to call a double dribble. That will run the clock out. And that will be the end of the contest. There is the. Frederick Warriors, excuse me, Frederick Golden Eagles win it by a count of 66 to 31. So we will take a break. Be back with the post game show here on Morgan County's B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network. Fort Morgan Mustang post game show is brought to you by Advanced Agri Solutions. Get a plan of seed, food, and water for your field. Now is the time to begin your planning for next year's growing season. Call Dusty or Roxy at 970-571-2024. Well, the Mustangs fall here tonight by a count of 66 to 31. Scoring for the Frederick uh, Golden Eagles is uh, J.J. Strudnik with 22. He is followed by Marcus Garcia with 11. Ollie Justice with eight. Jovan Aldana with six. Uh, Dante Lechuga and Zach Burton each with four. Nate Rickman with three as well as Caden Martin. Uh, Jonathan Madera and Ian Buffington with two as well as Logan Gebbs for their total. And for the Mustangs, 
The Mustangs are Aiden Garber with seven, JJ Marquez with four, uh, Jackson Weedrick with four, Charlie Langford with six, uh, Gavin Taylor with two, Jariah Blake with three, and Rodrigo Alvarez with four for the Mustang total here. So uh, Mustangs were five of 15 from the free throw line. And the Golden Eagles were three of 12. So not a good night shooting for either team from the free throw line, that is for, that is for sure. So uh, the boys fall, as I said earlier, uh, to 0-5 overall, 0-2 and in league. The girls were defeated uh, tonight also by a count of 85 to 14. They go to a count of 0-4 and 0-2 and and in league also. So up next for the Mustangs in can be heard right here on Morgan County's B106 will be Thursday night uh, as Mountain View will come to Fort Morgan to take on the uh, Fort Morgan Mustangs girls and boys team 6 and 7.30 tip for those contests. So we will uh, be talking to you then. So for, this is, uh, for Christy Creighton, who has been the uh, operator tonight for us, uh, this is Brian Nickel. Once again, the final scores for the Mustangs. The girls lose it by a count of 85 to 14. The boys go down 66 to 31. All heard right here on Morgan County's B106 and the Eastern Plains Sports Network.